Hey, what's going on guys? This is JT with BlackBerryOS.com. We're going to give you guys a look at the official BlackBerry Flip shell case, um, which they make, obviously. You see the cool name right here. Um, just to give you guys a look at the pros, the cons, how this uh, case has worked for me personally. Uh, that way you guys can have uh, an idea of how it may work for you as well. Um, taking a look, obviously, here at the front, it's a pretty cool... Uh, material um, not sure how to exactly to describe it um, it feels a little bit like suede it doesn't exactly feel that soft but it's the closest thing that I can relate it to same for the inside here as well it's very very soft and it definitely protects the device when it's closed uh, from what I've seen personally I've dropped my device a couple of times and thankfully I haven't really uh, made any big scratches or dents so I'm pretty happy with the overall protection that this case provides Taking a look at the top, see that the, the case has left a space open for the headphone jack to be able to access the, the power button that's on the top. You can see on the side, on the right side, you have access to the volume rockers and the play pause button. So if you're playing music, you can actually plug in your, your headphones and control the music app directly from uh, the side here without ever having to actually open the, uh, the case. On the bottom, you also have the speaker which does function if you don't have um, anything plugged into the headphone jack you can just have your music playing out of here as well and that will definitely definitely work um, so far the only thing that I don't like about this case in terms of how the uh, the ports and everything is lined up is the fact that there's no access to the charger and to the micro HDMI port uh, you have to open it unfortunately so if you do want to have this case on you're gonna have to charge your phone you want to leave it on you're gonna have to flip it back like this um, obviously that's just because this flips so you're not gonna have that space there's nothing that can be done about that that's just the way these uh, flip covers are I obviously never have used a flip cover on any Blackberry before so it's a little bit different uh, to have this extra flap uh, being being used and kind of getting in the way a little bit. We'll talk more about that uh, afterwards. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this uh, flip shell case is the fact that it has this turning on, turning off feature when you uh, put the cover on and when you take it off, the, the phone turns on. Kind of like the same idea with the magnetic holster uh, with, uh, with Blackberries for the longest time. It's the same idea here. So that actually works really, really well and I'm really, really happy. There's no need to, to use the power button or to use the swipe up uh, to wake up. So that definitely, I think, helps with uh, with battery life and to just be able to, just when you're done, you just close it and that's it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, also, something that I really, really enjoy about this case is the fact that um, it actually doubles as a little stand. So if you were to put it put this in the back like this, you can actually see that you're able to stand it up so if you're playing any type of YouTube videos or any movie or something like that you can definitely sh I mean, just put it up here in the stand and share do whatever you want just watch a video by yourself it doesn't matter you can have have your blackberry stand up like this and actually if you flip it the other way you even it puts it in a little bit more of an incline um, stand let's put it so you can see so that's actually really really cool I really dig the fact that it does that so that's definitely a plus for this case I'm um, talking about some cons unfortunately typing has become a little bit annoying with with this flip case on there's a space right here in the back I don't know if you guys can see it where you so you're supposed to kind of tuck in your fingers and be able to type that way um, unfortunately for me personally it's a little bit uncomfortable not being able to kind of wrap my hand around it completely. Um, this just may be me, to be completely honest, and hopefully uh, not many other people find this to be a little bit of a hassle, but this space is just not not comfortable to be able to, to type. Um, another option you have is you can actually just flip the, uh, the, the front part over, kind of have it this little bit of a, a book feel to it, and just type this way. Which again makes it a little bit uncomfortable just because you have this extra space here which you don't have on your right hand side. But you get used to it and I've been able to type just as fast after using it for, for a couple of weeks as well. Um, those are just a couple of the cons that I think I, I personally just don't love 
uh, typing on this as much. Um, I think that's pretty much it. This this case uh, does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a flip case and protects your device. It allows it to wake up when you when you open it, and it turns into a pretty cool stand pretty quickly. So. If you guys want to check this out, make sure you hit up uh, BlackBerry's online store. Uh, they're available right now in black, white, and red uh, for $34.99. And they are available in the U.S. They used to not be available uh, for a little bit. But with uh, AT&T and Verizon's and T-Mobile's launch around the corner, they are starting to be available right now. So make sure you check that out if you want one. And stay tuned to BlackBerry West for more reviews.